single copy of the FBI report on its investigation into allegations of sexual misconduct against Judge Brett Kavanaugh has now been delivered to the U.S. Senate. As Nicole Killian reports, senators are now getting a chance to review it before a vote which could put Kavanaugh on the Supreme Court. Senators are being allowed into a secured briefing room to review the FBI's report about allegations of sexual misconduct against Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. They interviewed 10 witnesses. Uh, they followed leads from interviews that made sense to me. I'm confident the FBI did a good job. They were not uh, hindered in any way. The FBI did not interview Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, who testified that Kavanaugh pinned her down and groped her during a gathering in 1982. Nor did they interview more than a dozen people proposed by Ford's lawyers. Deborah Ramirez, who alleges Kavanaugh exposed himself to her at a party, was interviewed by the FBI. But she told The New Yorker, people who were key to corroborating my story have not been contacted. I feel like I'm being silenced. Kavanaugh has denied all claims against him. Democrats agreed that the investigation scope should be limited. We did not agree that the White House should tie the FBI's hands. With the FBI investigation now complete, Senate Republicans are pushing ahead for a final vote on Kavanaugh's confirmation. We are fully confident uh, after reviewing this information, senators can be com comfortable voting yes. Three Senate Republicans have not made up their minds on how they'll vote, and the White House may not have helped their cause with the limited scope of the FBI investigation. Frankly, I don't think you've done very much to give them much political cover because it's not been that widespread. The Senate will have a procedural vote tomorrow with a final confirmation vote likely coming Saturday. Nicole Killian, CBS News, Capitol Hill.